Hey what's up guys it's Marf and welcome back to another Racing Master video and yes it's finally back with its third beta. Now before I get into talking about it I do want to mention a couple of very important things. Firstly, this beta is very restricted, so it's only available on Android and it's only available in Canada. So either you need to use a VPN to get around it or you need to, you know, be in Canada. So um, I got around it through various ways, but I also want to let you guys know that because it's Android only, I'm recording this on my LG G8X. Now that is a three-year-old Android phone and it has a Snapdragon 855. Now I believe the minimum requirements for running Racing Master this time around is a Snapdragon 820. But because I'm not really familiar with Android chips, I only know really the newest high-end ones. I don't know what that means for compatibility and, uh, you know, performance in terms of how many old phones will work with this. But what I can tell you is that the gameplay is going to look very scuffed because I'm running usually on low settings. And it does seem very unoptimized, at least for the Snapdragon 855. So... As a result, it's very tough for me to play this game because it's always lagging and it's always stuttering. So it's hard to really play it properly to get a feel for it. So I'm honestly probably not going to do a lot of content this time around for this beta just because it actually is really painful to play this game. But I did want to let you guys know about this beta because it is really cool because they've actually added a story mode. So there's a single player mode, which it was previously, but now there's sort of a story behind it. There's characters, there's character development, which is really cool. There's, you know, an ally, there's enemies, there's companions. It's actually really quite nice. Now, a lot of the animations are unfinished and you'll see that, but the ones that are finished while they are laggy, they are really cool to see. And I don't think we've had a multi mobile racing game with this level of detail before and honestly I'm really excited for when this story is complete and when all the animations are there you can actually choose your own dialogue kind of like a normal you know PC or console RPG which is really awesome and it seems to maybe affect what the characters respond with as well so that's really awesome to see and it's very exciting of course because it's a beta and because it's running on my LG it is very scuffed so I apologize that it's very hard to look at and it's very stuttery um, but yeah it's really cool to see there's also been a lot of improvements in terms of the features added so there's a lot of different things here and there different menus different customization options and whatnot but there is also now an expanded currency system so it now works more like asphalt 9 there are diamonds and there are actually keys that you can use to unlock those crate drops so you can get a chance at getting cars I honestly haven't played enough to know every single detail about the new economy, but this is hopefully going to give us a better idea of what the economy is like in the full release, because previously we were getting cars for free very quickly. We all had a lot of currency because we were testers, but now it seems like they're actually testing the progression system, the currency system and how it works out. So hopefully throughout this beta, we'll get a good idea of what the final version in terms of the economy will look like. Now, in terms of handling, it does seem to have improved just a bit, especially for the drifting. Previously in the second beta, they sort of flip-flopped where in the first beta, it was really easy to drift and it was the superior mode of getting around corners. But then in the second beta, it was better to do grip driving instead of drift driving because it just slowed you down a lot. Now in this beta, they seem to have stabilized some things. So drifting now at least makes sense in some situations. Again, I haven't tested it fully, um, so I'm not comfortable giving like a review or something like that. But what I can tell you is that drifting does feel better than it did in the second beta. But yeah, overall, I'm very excited to see a lot of progress being made. There are also some new tracks and a ton of new cars, which is very awesome to see. Let me know if you'd like to see some of that in the near future. But again, I don't know if you guys really want to watch my gameplay because it's going to be very scuffed, laggy, and it won't look very good. So I apologize for that. Whenever the game comes back around on iPhone, you'll be sure to see some more gameplay on my channel because playing it on my iPhone felt a lot better than it does on my LG. But I just wanted to make this quick video letting you know that there is a third beta and it's pretty easy to get into if you are in Canada or if you know your way around some things. And I'm assuming if you have a higher end Android device, probably something newer, like maybe with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or 888 or whatever they're calling it, maybe it'll run a lot better than it does on my 855. But of course, let me know what your experience is in the comment section and let me know what you think of the progress made since the second beta. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later.